Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and I got my hair done except I did it myself. Today we're going for an auburn vibe, we're going for curly vibe, we're doing the Instagram baby hair vibe and you guys know I got you covered. I went ahead and filmed a very beginner friendly tutorial, a step by step tutorial on how I went ahead and installed this wig straight out of the box. Now this one did come from Kalai E Hair and she's absolutely gorgeous. She had so much definition and so much va va voom when we started and this was the end result. Super beautiful. Now if you don't like the baby hair, especially the drama, the Instagram baby hair, you can definitely opt out but of course you guys know I love it. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Be sure to check out the description box before you head out and also subscribe and like this video for more content. We are two days away from vlogmas and i'm kind of nervous but i'm excited and i'm up for the challenge so i hope you guys subscribe if you haven't already you guys have been waiting patiently for the vlogs and they are definitely going to be coming in by the boatloads during december so let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the box she's a beautiful auburn color this is the inside construction of the cap look and this is what she looks like on. The texture is kinky curly. The length is 24 inches. And as I mentioned, there is 4 inches of parting space going back. She's 150% density. And this is what that looks like on this wig. Hashtag shrinkage is real. So here I am just deciding how I want to style the hair before I even start. My first mind said half up, half down. But I do want to show off the curls in their full entirety. So let's go ahead and pull the hair back and start the install process so typically if you want to customize the wig as far as like bleaching the knots tinting the lace um, anything like that tweezing the hairline I recommend all those steps be done before you do your install I skipped out on all those steps because you didn't need to bleach the knots and I'm going to tint the lace at the very end of the install process so just stick with me and you'll see how beautiful this one comes along so step one for me the only process I did to my natural hair was just to pull my natural uh, sideburn back with a little edge control from bdeckbeauty.com i cut off the excess lace and now we are going in to install the hair pretty much glueless i used two products i used the got to be glue in black i allowed that to get tacky and then i applied a liquid holding spray um, on top let that get a little bit tacky put the lace on top and then we blow dried on a cool setting we are repeating those steps on the sides to make sure that the entire wig is laid now after you do this it's a great idea to apply a wig band aka a melt belt to really let that lock in and set um, I don't feel the need to do that if I ruin anything or anything lifts I'm always able to just go in and touch up but if you really really want to get a good install allow it to set and completely dry before you move on so for this one I did opt for some baby hair and we did go extreme we went with the Instagram inspired baby hair where there's like the swoop right at the arch of the eyebrow and then a swoop at your sideburns. I pretty much sectioned those pieces and then I curled them away from the face and then cut them down to a length I felt comfortable with. Now I'm going in with that same edge control I use on my natural edges with the actual baby hair. And you want to focus that product mainly on the lace or like the root of the hair and kind of leave the ends with no product. You just drag the product through as you kind of like form the baby hair and swoop it. And this will allow the edges or the ends of it to kind of be a lot more fluffy which pretty much is the way of the Instagram baby hair. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, I don't want to forget to mention that they always have sales and deals and coupon codes and all of that. So be sure to check out their description box for links and, you know, all the details on that. Also, you can find them on social media so you can find direct links to all of that as well. Now I'm going in and as I mentioned, I did opt for a center part. So once the wig was completely bonded down and the baby hair is taken care of, we're going to go ahead and take care of that parting. So a center part is what we chose. I went ahead and made sure it was straight as possible. Then I went in with the Dynamic Duo, which is the wax stick and the electric hot comb from BDECBD.com. I really like to get in there and just make sure everything is straight along the hairline. Yes, this one is a curly texture and yes, you want to you know, 
preserve those curls but when it comes to lace I don't like it to be too puffy along the hairline I like it to be as straight at the root or like the direct front of the hairline this just is what looks best on me and I did add that same product um, along the parting which flattened it out now we're going to go in with the mousse and we're going to do the Instagram method for this too, which is pretty much just Nairobi mousse. And I'm just going to go in and completely saturate the hair. Please feel free to save or conserve your product by making sure the hair is wet first. I always recommend going in and co-washing your curly wigs with a moisturizing conditioner and getting it damp that way. That way you can lock in the moisture at the sink and that way you will need less product. But of course I like to do everything straight out of the box. So this is pretty much one of my favorite techniques but you guys know sometimes I'll switch it up and do other things but today this is just what I was feeling. Check out the curl definition once you go in with that Denman brush and you can see here the difference between straight out of the box and also when it's styled with mousse and a Denman brush and it definitely gives versatility so you can have it one way one day and then the other way another day. So we already went in and flattened out the hairline but I did want to add a little bit of holding spray along the hairline. This is going to give a little bit of lift and pull the hair back naturally so that you can pretty much show off the baby hair and I loved that for me. Just going in and touching the, everything up and making sure it's perfect and voila. But we cannot forget to go in and conceal. So I use the 420 concealer or the 420 color with the Fenty concealer along the parting as well as this Ruby Kiss foundation powder. I think this one is a shade or two darker than my complexion. And now we have the perfect look. Feel free to use a lace tint that is designated for your complexion. I like to go in with things that I already have that already blend in with my skin tone. And I think this was a perfect match. But again, you know, to each his own. If you like something different, I highly recommend you use what you love. Happy girl. Let's go ahead and beat our face and then we're going to uh, put on the melt belt while we beat our face. That way everything can set beautifully and then we'll come back for the final result. Okay, love bugs. So we are done with the look. I went ahead off camera and beat my face. You know, it always just brings the look together when your face is beat. You guys haven't been seeing the melt belts, but these are from BeatUpBeauty.com. Shameless plug. I do sell these. This one is old and beaten up, but I wear them literally every day. I just forget to share them here because a lot of times if I'm doing an install, once it's done, I just kind of show you the end result. And whenever I let my wig like set, that's what I use. Or like when I get in the shower, that's also what I use. Different things that I do like sweat, that's what I use. So I'll have that in the description box. But this one here obviously is from Kalai Hair. Is it Kalai Hair or Kalai Wig? KalaiHair.com. This is the box and they did give me a generous package. So when I received the wig, it was like a nice, sturdy, hefty package. Inside, I did get a green robe. You guys have seen this green robe many of times because I always um, share it on this channel. I actually should have wore it today, but um, I didn't even think. And then the box itself was nicely folded um, or closed and put into this beautiful dust bag. I love the way everything coordinates. So like even when I see the girls um, review wigs from Kalai E, when I see them in that green robe, I already know it's a Kalai E tutorial. And then this is the box here and inside still more stuff. So the wig itself, the box, isn't it so fancy? So the box was in this dust bag. But inside the box, the wig was in this dust bag. So I literally got spoiled inside the dust bag. The wig was inside of this. So you also get your green milk belt. Super nice and fancy. And it does have their name on it. And then you also have the wig caps. And then last but most certainly not least, you also will get another goodie bag, which includes... A cheetah leopard print style uh, melt belt wig band, um, another pack of wig caps, some beautiful mink lashes, and then you get like this little kabuki brush. It's a rose gold color, super nice. Now, as far as the hair goes, the hair itself, the color. You guys already know I love a good color switch up. I love my natural brown, but of course when you wear brown hair every day, you get bored with it. 
So I love the fact that this one came in a beautiful color. Here it says this one is a 13 by 4 transparent lace wig. The texture is Brazilian and of course the wig was disinfected. So I did my famous technique with the Nairobi mousse, no water, and I love the way it came out. Now that it's dry, since doing my makeup and stuff, it does have a slight crunch to it, which of course when you add a little bit of water, it'll loosen it up instantly. But I like the crunch because it helps me to define the curls and also to set the curls and then also for the curls to last longer. If you're a curly girl with natural curly hair, you kind of know sometimes everybody's different but some everybody desires nice soft curls but sometimes the process of um getting those soft curls and making them last a long time is like going through the crunch first the 360 of the hair i did opt for the dramatic baby hair on this one but you guys can see when it's pulled down and forward like you can barely see that so of course you can X nay you can you know hold out on that option but i love it so much now this one is perfect for fall but you guys know i'm not a like seasonal type of girl so i'll wear it year around let me know what you guys think i'll have a direct link to her in the description box with all of the details also everything we used in this video including the little tiny flat iron is listed down there as well Thank you guys so much for watching. It is about less than a week, about four days, three days, two days, three days until Vlogmas starts. So I hope you guys are ready. I'm actually going to start filming tomorrow. So that should be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.